environment is all of America and its problems. It's the rats in the ghetto. It's a hungry child in a land of affluence. It is housing that's not worthy the name and neighborhoods not fit to inhabit. Environment is a problem perpetuated by expenditures of tens of billions of dollars a year on the Vietnam War instead of on our decaying, crowded, congested, polluted urban areas that are in human traps for millions of people. Most participants in Earth Day were white. Although some Negroes did take part, Negro leadership was conspicuously absent. Black militants and campus radicals have criticized the environmental campaign, calling it a white, middle-class diversion from the issues of Vietnam and race. But members of at least one minority group, Mexican-Americans, took part in Earth Day in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and Bob Schieffer reports. They gathered here in an atmosphere of fiesta, many of them dressed in native folk costumes and listening to a strolling mariachi band. But beneath all the gaiety, there was an undercurrent of cynicism. This is Borelis, where the poor people of Albuquerque live. And to the young Chicanos who organize this rally, the environmental crisis is a very real and a very personal issue. We're going to make people understand that the, the kind of things that come from air pollution, water pollution, are the same kinds of things that cause racism, that cause poverty, that cause hunger in this country. So we're all going to be marching today, okay? The Unidos, marchemos, y Unidos, venceremos. Viva la raza! Viva! The march moved out and snaked through the city's worst poverty area. There were young people mostly, many from the University of New Mexico on the other side of town. The Chicano Student Organization had endorsed the environment activities on campus, but they contended the real crisis was here. They carried signs saying, free the brown people and Chicano power. And they followed a route seldom seen by outsiders. It is a neighborhood of dirt roads, outdoor plumbing, and adobe houses. The city's waste disposal plant is a few blocks away, and on windy days, it covers the area with a choking gas. Eventually, the city hopes to correct it. The turnout was a small one, no more than 300 by police count. The young organizers had hoped for 3,000. Still, they were philosophical about it. Down here, one of them said, life just goes on from day to day. Nobody ever gets too excited about anything anymore. Bob Schieffer, CBS News, in the Borelis section of Albuquerque.